So I just got back the canvas print proof that I had done of my most recent painting called Fish and Pews, which get it like fish, well, crab, no lobster, crab, crab traps and pews, which would be this church. So just got the print back and I always, you know, get nervous and I also love this part. It's like, you know, this is where you get to see if the digital photograph that you took of the painting was, you know, well lit to see if our color balancing worked. We do, my husband and I do all our, like all my graphics, all my painting processing. Anyhow, so I just got back this proof and uh, anyhow, so now I'm going to see how I made out and check the color and all that stuff. So if anything needs to be adjusted, then I'll adjust it before uh, anybody orders any of these canvas prints now that they exist. <laughs> all right, so here we go. I'm at my drawing board. Here is, let me do this. Here is the original painting. Here's the original. Here is the print. So now I actually got to look at it with my own eyes and see what I think. Hmm, that's pretty darn good. And no matter what, the painting is always going to look a little different from the canvas print because this is paper. This is on paper on my drawing board and it absorbs the ink that I put on it. Whereas this is a digital reproduction of the painting. So it has to go through a couple of stages to get to the canvas print stage. See how it wraps around the side? It's pretty cool. The image gets stretched. What do we have up top? A little stretch there. Let me show you the bottom. It's kind of cool. Look how the grass goes around. Awesome. Ooh, that's a nice side. Oh, sorry. Pretty cool, hey? Anyhow, so I would say that's a successful um, print proof. Looks wicked. So these are available in a whole bunch of different sizes. This is the smallest canvas print size. And I'd say it's like a nine by 13. No, maybe nine by 12. Anyhow, that's the small canvas print. It comes ready to hang. And then it goes up in size from there all the way up to like, I'd say this could be printed 40 inches by I don't even know how long that would be, but the shortest side, say, would be almost four feet. So this would be like six feet, maybe. Anyhow, huge would take up like a good wall space and would make like awesome feature artwork that would just, you know, nail the space. Anyhow, maybe I'll get one of these for my own stairwell. I always like to change it up. So maybe I'll get a large one than that. Here, let me show you the original image that I went from. So this is uh, a picture that we took when we were in Port de Grave. No, Beta Verde. Oh God, now I can't remember again. Beta Verde is where this is. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> Anyhow, so this is the shot that I took and I don't know why it hooked me. Uh, I think color was a good part of it. Um, that turquoise is just too crazy for me. It's like just oh, delicious and old school Newfoundland too. And so not only was it the shed, it was also the roof of the church. So I use this as my reference image and then drew it here on my drawing board in my studio. Soon to be finished. Um, anyhow, so Oh yeah, and the original painting is also available. So that is on my website too. So anyhow, successful canvas print. So let me show you what I do now with my canvas print. Now that it has been approved by me. Now I go and I put it in my, do I have the lights on? Yep. I put it in my studio gallery, which is 
what I'm trying to get is one canvas print of all my paintings. So I'm not sure where I'm at so far. Whoops, missing ones. That's a good sign. Not that I have anybody into my studio here, but you know. So we're gonna now put this one somewhere. And I like this uh, salon style hanging, which means you can fit like a million pieces. So you can also do this in your house. It doesn't have to be so crazy. <laughs> but, you know, since I guess I am an artist and this hallway is outside my studio, that I should fill it with paintings. That's kind of fun because, you know, normally you do a painting and then you just move on and you don't get much time to, say, spend with it, which, you know, it's like, it's like having an art baby. And then off they go, but now, uh, since deciding to do this, I don't know how many years ago we started this, but uh, like four or five? Anyhow, now I can, when people do come over um, <laughs> and say I give them a, a little look-see at the studio, which is always fun, then uh, I take them down this gallery and it's just kind of neat to stand there and, and look at all the paintings that I've done, or actually just a portion of it, and I think I'm blown away by how many paintings I have done. It's shocking. Anyhow, it's pretty cool. So now this guy, where is it going to go? Hmm. Maybe I might have to go low. I'm kind of running out of space here. Let me show you the, let me go back, back, so you can see how much space I've got, which is not a lot, so I think we may have to go start going lower yeah right and the key to this is to make sure it doesn't look too organized but you also don't want too many big spaces but you know shaking it up a little bit like leave some gaps and you can also oh yeah just a tip for you that uh, if you want to salon hang and you want to mix up a uh, canvas as well as framed artwork then you can actually mix them together on a wall. And if you're kind of nervous about it, then what I would do is get like brown paper or cardboard or whatever, and I would lay the pieces on the floor and then I would organize them. So I would go lay this one here, lay your pieces here. You could even lay out the actual pieces and, uh, and then uh, lay out your pieces and then you could see like the arrangement of it and you can move them around until they look balanced and and would make sense on your wall. So anyhow, you can mix stuff and then salon style hang. Anyhow, just an idea. Anyhow, I just wanted to show you that I got my proof back for the canvas print of my new painting, Fish and Pews, which comes from our Newfoundland traditional Dish, which is fish and brews it sounds like but it's actually spelled brewis but it's fish and brews and it's like hard tack or uh, I guess hard bread and fish and potatoes and onions sometimes anyhow it's not my favorite dish but I like love the name and it was suggested in, in my name that painting on Facebook here so uh, Lucinda Gathercole um, suggested the name and it was the winner. So I have a prize for her. Actually that just came back from the printer too. Our, um, the prize. So I got a matted print of this. Hmm, where is the matted print? Anyhow, so I'll put that up now. That's exciting. Done. Ah, oh, it's a lot of work to get it to this stage. <laughs> Nevertheless, just painting it. Oh, I'm also going to show you the back of it. And this is where I also check my tag. Fish and Pews from the original painting by Kellyanne Pipeshera. K A P B dot C A. Made in Newfoundland. Made in Newfoundland. Because <laughs> it really is. Torbay Road. Yeah. When I moved back, I wanted my, as much as my stuff as possible, to be printed and made in Newfoundland. So this is. Ken to saw him yesterday. He's a real guy. Yeah. Wheel. Ta-da. Fish and pews.
Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Happy hump day. Bye-bye.